back. Full disclosure, Velma is atrocious, rife with anti-white bigotry, and I only watched it in the hopes of building this YouTube channel. I tried to resist the temptation, but I couldn't. So I booted up Velma season two and was so bored and at a loss for words within the first five minutes that I considered giving up on my craven ambitions to become a YouTuber. Sweet baby Jesus, this show is atrocious. The comedy is non-existent and the dramatic stakes are laughable. Does anyone care about Velma getting an internship for college? Does anyone care if Velma and Daphne end up together? Does anyone care if Velma's mother doesn't want her daughter to solve mysteries anymore? No. The short answer is no one cares about any of this, so why would you want to watch? The comedy, right? And Velma is funny, right? Right. Everything about this show is awful. Ugly animation, soulless voice acting, pointless drama, and lame, lame, lame comedy. You could watch Velma on one and a half speed and still be bored because nothing worth watching happens. The jokes aren't even jokes where you have setups and payoffs over the course of the episode. They're merely attempts at humorous statements, like a character saying, yeah, because kids who get high with their parents always turn out fine, or please don't be dead or having sex. The episodes are 25 minutes long and yet feel like an hour. They're so boring and and tedious and horrible. I honestly can't even comprehend how this show exists. It literally hurts my brain. Worse still, the creator Charlie Grandy has a long writing career in Hollywood, including work on The Office. How does one so experienced conclude that this show is good? The same goes for Glenn Howerton. How do you write so many masterpieces for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and then read the Velma scripts and think, yep, I want to be associated with this. The money cannot possibly be that good that you'd be willing to throw away all dignity and become the voice of a straw man for Mindy Kaling's anti-white bigotry. Madness. Pure madness. I truly began to think that I was losing my mind because this show shouldn't exist. It shouldn't have a second season and it most assuredly shouldn't have any talent attached to it. I could understand Mindy Kaling being the only name you recognize because she's producing, but everyone else? Why are you here? Did Sam Richardson forget all about the great work he's done with Tim Robinson or on Veep? Was he beaten over the head until his understanding of comedy leaked out his ears? Why are you in this show, Sam? Why? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! It boggles the mind that someone thought you could take Scooby-Doo and turn it into a crass, self-absorbed, and incredibly bigoted TV show. I was so exhausted by how bad Velma season two was that I could only last three episodes. If this video is anything like my others, then I'll get a few dozen views, and that hour of my life I lost is not worth that level of engagement. I ask you all, how could anyone anyone watch Velma from start to finish and enjoy it. The only person I could imagine having fun was one of those obnoxious college students who spends thousands on an arts degree that teaches you about bias in cinema. Anyone with a real job or real life experience won't enjoy themselves because they know they'll never get this time back and they don't live in a bubble. Now, I'll try to be fair and include two jokes I thought were solid. You can decide which worked better, if either of them, in in the comments section. The first is when a cop says, you'll be in cuffs faster than a startup founder with a weird voice. The second is when Fred, who has converted to Catholicism, says, if the church has taught me anything, it's to question nothing. The latter is cliched, but it was solid. While the former was topical, as anyone who likes to make money knows that a lot of Forbes 30 under 30 tend to end up disgraced. In either case, those were two jokes out of an hour and 15 minutes of television, which I thought were decent enough to mention. They didn't actually make me laugh. They simply made me nod a little and go, yeah, solid, okay, yeah, could work. Oh, what's that? You, you Do you want a synopsis now? I guess my hatred of the show overcame my ability to structure this review in a sensible manner. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! I suppose that's one compliment. If you wanted to create a show that pisses people off, then Charlie Grandy and Mindy Kaling have succeeded. Congratulations. Anyway, the story is very simple. 
Someone is killing men and cutting off their penises. Fred is trying to solve the murder alongside Velma, but he approaches it from the perspective that there's spooky forces at work, while Velma believes it's Fred's mother who has returned after faking her death. Alongside this, there's a new family in town who are practitioners of Wicca, and Daphne gets into it. Velma isn't a fan, and so the show sets up an overarching theme of rationalism versus spiritualism. Norval is having visions of Fred's dead mother and is working on a scientific solution to resolve this guilt-induced issue only for it to cause problems with his ability to feel empathy. That's a boring subplot that adds little value to the show, but it's there, so I guess I must mention that, right? Right. Hijinks ensue and mysteries abound, I guess. But who cares? You see, it boils down to this. People you don't care about are being murdered, and people you don't care about are trying to stop this, and people you don't care about are having relationship drama. I think you get the idea. No one is likable, so why invest any energy into this show? At least if you had good humor, you could make up for it the way the Bluth family were all repugnant in Arrested Development, but they were also hilarious. Velma is an atrocious TV show, and you're insane. You are insane if you watch it from beginning to end. I'd only do it if I somehow benefited, which perhaps explains why Howerton and Richardson and Wu and Co are all on this shit show. The money must make selling your soul worthwhile. Thanks for watching. When you find someone you care about, lock them down ASAP. Hey! Ah!